Hey all, this is my first time doing a multi-tool review, uh, or a product review in general for my channel. Uh, this particular is directed at Scaligrim, uh, um, a guy whose weapons uh, videos and political discourse I've been following for a while. So I thought um, uh, I wanted to do a product review for him, uh, specifically since he's done some knife product reviews in the past. Uh, I thought I'd give this a shot. So, uh, okay, why is the camera doing that? Okay, for some reason the camera is moving weirdly, but I deliberately tweaked it in place. Hang on, let me actually put the... Yeah, I swear to God, it's like this bloody camera thing is moving. Oh, well, anyway, so where was I? Oh, yes. So anyway, as I was going to say, though, uh, key point was, though, is that the... Um, okay, now it's doing it again. What the hell? Well, whatever. Okay, uh, we'll just we'll just kind of go with it, and, and sorry about the wiggliness of the camera. I don't know what's causing it, and I don't know how to handle it. So anyway, uh, key point is, though, is that this is a model, um, uh, I'm not sure what the brand name, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the model number of this is, uh, but uh, it's a combination knife and multi-tool. Uh, basically, uh, this is the knife blade. Uh, it's the, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's called the Zilla Tool Junior, patent number 0557. Point one zero zero. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see that in the camera. Oh, sorry, trying to find that here. Don't know if you can see that in the camera in this light, but that's what it is. And it's made by uh, this. It's made by a company called CRKT. Um, the blade itself is uh, pretty much a. Um, uh, the blade itself on the knife uh, part um, actually locks in quite nicely here. Um, oh, sorry. Hang on. Damn it. Ah, there it goes. Sorry, I should mention it is a little finicky, but it will not lock in place quite nicely once you get it under control. Um, it literally, as I said, I'm now I'm now pressing it, and it won't close on my hand. Uh, this actually has quite a good locking mechanism once you can actually get it active. The problem is it's a bit finicky, so you have to really pull the blade far enough back to get the uh, to get the latch to go through. And uh, you simply close it uh, by pulling this latch to the side here, uh, the, pulling the latch to the side, closing the blade. And there's a little thumb push button, kind of like a uh, kind of like a push button knife, uh, not well, not like a push button on a switchblade, but it's a thumb button knife, which will just cause it to spin out uh, this way. Now, assuming I can actually get it to stay put this time, yeah, good, the lash is back on. So, uh, firstly, I will do what Scalagrim does, which is called uh, the sharpness test. Uh, now, the thing is that this blade um, does have a little bit of some saw teeth on the back here, so that may make this blade. Um, uh, that actually, I think, might have a couple of advantages. I'm a little wondering why these holes are here in the first place, but um, but the saw teeth, I think, might be kind of appropriate because the thing is that you may never know when you actually need an extra grip on something that you're trying to cut as, you know, an, an extra cutting power. Anyway, uh, this is a piece of, uh, of printer paper, and the traditional technique that Scaligrim uses for uh, testing a knife's sharpness is to see whether in one cut it will actually slice through the paper. Now, for knives that aren't very sharp, you may only get to... Mm, about that deep, maybe right where the bottom of my, of my index finger is, maybe about that deep in terms of uh, uh, in terms of cut on a paper that's not for a knife that's not really sharp. But when we try this, okay, that's mediocre. That's about mediocre. Let's try to see when we put a little bit more power behind it. Hold on, I'm worried about actually cutting my finger here, so bear in mind. That's only about a medium stroke, but that's not bad. With a combination of teeth and uh, and knife sharpness, that's not particularly bad. Um, and that was just by uh, that was just a single swipe cut. We'll try that again on this side. Oh, sorry, maybe not. Let's try it again. <laughs> that's more like it. Okay, so sometimes it cuts, sometimes it don't. So I guess it all depends on whether you catch it on the saw teeth or the knife blade itself. So, but the point is, though, is that either way, even if the blade isn't particular, uh, even if the blade may be a tad dull, uh, there is the saw teeth behind it, and. Uh, the two directly will kind of give a uh, will kind of give an extra capability, and uh, just sawing it straight, just sawing it straight in that form, it cuts quite nicely down this side. As you can see, it, uh, it takes a little while to cut in, but uh, but this section right here is nice and straight on the bottom here. So yeah, it it, it is sharp. But the thing, of course, is though, is that even with all that in mind, oh, and the point is kind of ooh, how that actually hurts. So just to give you an idea with just the point, uh, let's just do it this way. Ah, that's, like I said, that's a nice little indent right there. Uh, but let's try it a little further. And like I said, you can see that, like I said, the knife is nice and pointy too. But um, 
Well, well, most people would buy these knives for self-defense, uh, and yes, I did. Oh, bloody focus! Uh, yes, while this, uh, yes, while most people would buy knives for self-defense, and I bought this one from Dragon Impact. Um, I specifically bought it because I was looking for a Leatherman at the time, but they didn't have one in stock, so I picked this guy up instead as a multi-tool. And uh, its multi-tool functions are actually not that bad. Um, uh, I mean, it's kind of minimalistic, but it gets the job done. Specifically, uh, once the knife is uh, stashed away, uh, there are two there are two tools on this thing. Uh, the first one is a set of pliers, um, which work well enough. Um, they, you know, they're a combination of uh, they have the little wire stripper thing on them here, and uh, you know, but like I said, they work as a, as a well enough as a, as a section of pliers with their own lock. And the best part is is that this guy actually has uh, its best feature as a multi tool has uh, these two guys, which are little screwdriver heads here. This one's a uh, Robinson head, and uh, this one's a Phillips head. And uh, so yeah, with two Robinson and Phillips heads, you just take these guys, you insert them in the back here. Oh, and the cool bit is they have a magnetic lock on them, uh, kind of like most Leatherman. Okay, this one's a little weaker than most Leatherman, but the point is it has a magnetic lock, so you can uh, so you can insert your, your screwdriver head and be able to screw as necessary. So as a multi-tool, it, it is minimalistic, but it gets the job done. Um, you know, you can do with it what you need. Uh, you can do it with screwdrivering, or you can do it with the... Now, as I said, ideally, um, as a knife and as a multi-tool, it is a bit minimalistic, I agree. Um, but, because of the fact that it does the job for the most part, um, I don't see a problem with it. Um, for, for something cheap, um, like I said, because they didn't have a Leatherman in, and, uh, and because of the fact that I needed something cheap and efficient for a multi-tool at the time, um, the, uh, the Zilla knife, uh, yeah, sorry, the, uh, the Zilla tool, uh, the Zilla tool junior, um, this wasn't a bad buy. I think this was like maybe 20 bucks tops Canadian. So yeah, um, this is a heads up to, uh, uh so like I said, yeah. Um, uh, so in particular, uh, Scalagram, if, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, I will have sent it to you obviously, so hopefully you'll have watched it. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a decent little multi-tool, uh, in addition to knives or what have you, uh, this guy's a nice little one to pick up. Uh, failing that, if you can find a Leatherman with a decent, uh, with a decent blade, that would be good too. Um, the problem is, is that most knives, uh, most knives which are like everyday carrier stuff like that are designed as knives or, com or, or combat tools. And most Leathermans don't generally, when they do have a knife thing, even for camping, the knife, or, or for work, the knife isn't particularly good quality. So you buy, you buy the knives for the knife blade and you buy the tools for the tool. Uh, and with not the knife. I kind of think the Zilla Tool Junior is kind of nice in the fact that it kind of gives you a balance of both. Well, I mean, it has its disadvantages. For example, there's no measurement tool on the side, which is one of the things I really loved about the Leatherman was, you know, uh, a centimeter ruler and a few other things like that. Um, but, you know, um, and again, of course, multi-tools do have their disadvantages with sawing and that kind of thing, like they're kind of a, a last-minute thing. But, you know, again, um, I buy it for a multi-tool, and on occasion, um, the knife blade here, uh, as I said, when it, lock, when it locks in place, uh, you know, is secure. It's relatively sharp, as I've shown by the paper test. It has a little bit of a saw blade here, so it it can do what it needs to, and uh, you know, it can do what it needs to for maybe say stripping a small piece of bark or, or for a small piece of wood or something like that, or you know, sm uh, you know, doing some very small sawing jobs. Um, but yeah, you know, it 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 gets the job done. Um, and as a multi tool, um, I wouldn't. Uh, okay, let's see. On a scale of one to ten. Um, as a knife, I'd probably give it a, uh, as a knife, I'd probably give it as a, 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 a rating of maybe about a, a 7 uh, overall. Uh, for a multi-tool, because of the fact that it's not specifically a clap, because it's a bit minimalist for a multi-tool, I'd probably give it ooh, around a 7, maybe a 6.5. Um, well, actually, no, sorry, I'll, I'll make a correction on that. As a knife, I'd give it about an 8. As a multi-tool, I'd probably, because it's a bit minimalistic, I'd give it around a 6. Um, as a combination tool, I probably uh, estimated it around a seven out of ten. So yeah, I, I'd say it's probably about a seventy percent. It's seventy percent. You know, it, it's it's not hyper good, but it'll get the job done. Uh, you know, and especially, like I said, if uh, if you're looking for if you're looking for something quick, cheap, and effective as a combination tool, and the Leatherman's not available, um, and if you want a good knife with a multi-tool feature, um, I'd say go with this one. I say go with the Zilla Tool Junior uh, by CRTK. Um, anyway, that concludes my video. Um, I don't know where there's a website you can find them, but I will, uh, I will post the, in I will post the uh, website of dragonimpact.com, the store where I bought this. And if you give them a contact, I'm sure they'll be able to find out uh, where you can buy this uh, elsewhere. So yeah, uh, this concludes my uh, product review for the Zilla Tool Junior by CRTK. Uh, let me actually confirm one more time that I got the company name right. Sorry, CRKT, my bad. So yeah, uh, this is the Zilla Tool Junior by CRKT. And uh, so yeah, um... 
Have at her.